Namo Sakya Modi Buddha. Dear Venerable Singer, dear Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English news transmission on the online TV Quickly Buddhist News Rail, a comprehensive channel. Here are the headlines of major Buddhist news of the week. Bắc Ninh, provincial Buddhist singer and a labor union turn in the ATM installation for free of just rice distribution. Bình Dương, Hội Khánh Pergoda sponsors rice ATM for the poor people during the pandemic. Vĩnh Nghiêm Pergoda, Happy Supermarket, free of charge bazaar was appeared in Ho Chi Minh City. Hanoi, Buddhism charity team gives 14 tons of rice to people in Than Sung district. Hai Phong, ready to operate free rice distribution stand ATM. Hanam, provincial Buddhist singer supports the prevention and combat of COVID-19 pandemic. Kiên Giang, Phật Quang Charity Center to Kong for construction of fresh water reservoir for disadvantaged children. Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in Kiên Giang authorized to people in difficulties in the period of fighting against the epidemic. And hereafter are the news in details. Venerable singer, ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of April 19, 2020, a lot of people in difficult circumstances in Weaver Industrial Park, Bắc Ninh Province, care up to receive free of charge rice at the rice ATM stand located at Kinbak Urban Development Corporation. Most Venerable Thích Đức Thiện, Vice Chairman, General Secretary of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, most Venerable Thích Thanh Phụng, Head of the Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, and Mr. Nguyễn Văn Phong, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, came to encourage and directly deliver rice bags to laborers. The free rice distribution ATM is located at Kinbuck Urban Development Corporation, Bucknan Province. At present, this rice ATM has received a contribution of over 30 tons of rice, of which the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha supported 20 tons, Kinbuck Urban Development Corporation supported 10 tons, and some villagers also brought rice to contribute to the free rice ATM. This donation activity contributes to meeting the essential food needs for workers in difficult circumstances. Every day, nearly 4,000 laborers come to receive rice, the poor people who came to receive rice here are lined up neatly, had their body temperature measure and kept social distancing as prescribed to receive rice for free. Earlier, on the afternoon of April 18, 2020, more than 1,700 workers came to receive rice. Due to the large number of workers coming to receive the free of charge rice, the union officials had packed the rice ready in bags to hand over to the workers for convenience. In the very difficult situation of the pandemic COVID-19, living of the poor people in Bình Dương province was affected seriously. On the afternoon of April 22, 2020, the rice ATM was established and the office was operated at the Naranga Buddha Statue in Hội Khán Pergoda, Bình Dương province. At the opening ceremony, there was the attendance of Most Venerable Thich Huệ Thông, Deputy Secretary General of Executive Council, come chief of the Central Office 2 of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, head of Executive Committee, Bing Zoom Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. Most Venerable Thich Huệ Thông encouraged local people for a recent period of social isolation and distancing, especially the poor families, the disabled, and the jobless people due to pandemic COVID-19. Most Venerable also called for the Sangha, the philanthropies, and the sponsors of local province to continue sponsoring rice so that the rice ATM can help the poor people over the hard period. Rice ATM is meaningful in sharing and helping the poor people in the hard time. 
The organizer and local authority expect to continue receiving sponsors from the Senga, the philanthropies, and the sponsors from local province and other provinces so that the rice ATM operation can be continued during the time of preventing and fighting against pandemic COVID-19. In the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, a special supermarket system was opened in many provinces and cities across the country called Happy Supermarket of Zero Dawn. With the meaning of spreading love, sharing happiness, the Ho Chi Minh City Buddhist Singer Social Charity cooperated with the Vietnam Fatherland Brand Committee and APEC Group to build a Happy Supermarket of Zero Dawn at Vinh Nghiêm Pagoda DC3. On the morning of March 21st, the supermarket was officially opened, and the disadvantaged people could come to buy food necessities at the cost of zero dollar. Most venerable Thetan Phong, member of the administration board, head of the social charity section of Ho Chi Minh City, Abbot of Vinh Nghiêm Pagoda said that, Vinh Nghiêm Pagoda have responded positively to the appeal of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Central Committee to help disadvantaged people overcome the COVID-19 pandemic by many practical social security activities. The Happy Supermarket of Zero Dawn at Vinh Nghiêm Pagoda intends to last one month to serve the people. Most Venerable also call on monks and nuns and Buddhists to continue to accompany the program so that the Happy Supermarket of Zero Dawn would have more commodities and products to offer. APEC Group is a sponsoring unit with an initial budget of 8 billion Vietnam dong. Seeing the humanity of the program, many charitable organizations and sponsors have donated the supplemental program so far. The organizers have built 18 supermarkets in 14 provinces and cities to provide completely free of charge cereals, food, necessities, medical masks, books for those affected by the pandemic. Disadvantaged people participating in Shopping for Zero Dong are allowed to choose five different products on the voucher of the total value of 100,000 Vietnam Dong. The voucher is used two times for one week. As a rule, people coming to buy goods must wear masks, wash and disinfect their hands, and keep a distance of two meters away from each other. Venerable singer, ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of April 20, 2020, under the cause and authorization of most venerable Thit Thanh Phong, standing member of the Administration Council, head of financial and economic session of Vietnam Buddhist singer, Paranta Thit Quang Lam, member of Buddhist Council, member of Central International Buddhist Section, came to Phong Lộc Pagoda, Hà Nội to deliver 14 tons of rice to 11 wards in Thanh Xuân district with the desire to join hands in the prevention and control of COVID-19 pandemic. Attending and receiving gifts, the were Ms. Le Mai Chang, member of District Standing Committee, Vice Chairman of District People's Committee, Ms. Nguyen Thu Chang, District Cultural Manager, and 11 Vice Chairman of People's Committees of wards in the area. 14 tons of rice were given to ward representatives. After that, the rice will be distributed to disadvantaged people and poor local laborers affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The rice also aims to motivate people and local people to strictly comply with the Prime Minister's directive so that Vietnam can quickly overcome the epidemic. On behalf of the people of Thanh Xuân District, Ms. Le Mai Chang thanked Most Venerable Thich Thanh Phong and his self-helpers team and the benefactors who join hands, share responsibility with the community, contributing to helping households overcome difficulties and stabilize their lives during COVID-19 spell social isolation. On the afternoon of April 18, 2020, under the guidance of Venerable Thich Quang Tung, Vice Chairman of the Administration Council, Head of the Social Charity of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Head of the Buddhist Sangha in Haiphong City, the Administration Board of the Buddhist Sangha in Haiphong, coordinated with the People's Committee and the Fatherland Road Committee of Le Chung District to organize the installation and test run of automatic rice dispensers or rice ATM and be ready to distribute rice for free to policy beneficiaries in the district. This is a rice ATM 
directly managed by the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in Hải Phòng, as a result of merits and donations from Buddhist benefactors, sponsors inside and outside the city. Earlier, on April 16, 2020, the Administration Board of Buddhist Sangha had an open letter to the Buddhist monks and nuns, benefactors, Buddhist agencies inside and outside the city, calling for the benefactors to donate rice to the ATM, ensuring a continual operation of rice ATM until April 30, 2020. At present, the city's Vietnam Buddhist Sangha collected 17 tons of rice from benefactors, sponsors, and this rice had been gathered at the location of the rice ATM stand. On the morning of April 18, 2020, the Hanam Provincial Buddhist Sangha came to the headquarters of the Provincial People's Committee to donate 500 million VND to support the prevention of COVID-19 disease. The delegation was headed by Most Venerable Thich Thanh Quyết, Vice Chairman of Buddhist Council, Head of Buddhist Education Section of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Head of the Provincial Buddhist Sangha, National Assembly Deputies of Socialist Republic of Vietnam, Most Venerable Thich Thiện Hương, Member of Central Section of Buddhist Sangha, the Standing Deputy and Head of the Ceremony of the Provincial Buddhist Sangha, along with the Buddhist monks and nuns, representing Buddhism in districts, towns and cities in the area. Welcoming the delegation, there were Ms. Ha Thi Minh Tâm, member of the Provincial Standing Committee, Chairman of Provincial Fatherland Front Committee, Mr. Nguyen Đức Phượng, member of the Provincial Party Executive Committee, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, together with representative of the Provincial Steering Committee for COVID-19 Prevention and Control. Most Venerable Thich Thanh Quyết hoped that with this contribution, the COVID-19 anti-epidemic fund would be facilitated of equipment to serve the anti-epidemic forces of the provincial front line. Mr. Nguyen Đức Phuong sincerely thanked the provincial Buddhism Sangha as well as Buddhism in districts, towns, cities, pagodas, monks and nuns, fellow Buddhists in the whole province. He said that the money and gifts from the organizations and sponsors will be quickly transferred to units responsible for disease prevention in the province. Recently, due to severe drought, little rain, and the impact of saline intrusion, which has directly affected to a certain extent and caused serious damage to production activities and people's life in each region and each production group, in King Yang Province, the drought has also affected the production of and water supply to many people, including more than 200 children in extremely difficult circumstances who are being raised at the Phuc Wang Buddha Charity Center. After nearly 20 years of establishment and development, the center has nurtured thousands of children in extremely difficult circumstances. Orphans, disadvantaged children, early childhood laborers, contributing to stabilizing and alleviating the poverty for hundreds of households. Currently, the charity center is urgently building a freshwater reservoir on the site. The reservoir is expected to store from 1,700 to 2,000 cubic meters of water to serve the activities of pupils for immediate and future dramatic use. In addition, the charity center is also constructing a communal canteen for students to replace the seriously degraded old canteen. In the spirit of compassion to save the joy and suffering of the Buddhist children, the charity center calls on the monks and nuns, laypersons, philanthropists and benefactors, men and women from near and far to join hands to contribute to the construction of the freshwater reservoir as well as the contained house to be put into soon operation. On the morning of April 20, 2020, Executive Committee of King Yang Provincial Vietnam Resinga, in cooperation with Ministry of Justice, to sponsor 5 tons of rice and 50 million Vietnam dong to the local people to overcome the hard time of pandemic COVID-19. At the gift offering ceremony, there was the attendance of Venerable Thich Phap Chi, Chief Secretary of the Executive Committee of Ginzang Provincial Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Mr. Nguyen Văn Vũ, Director of Judgment Execution Department, District Party Committee Secretary of Vinh Thuận District, together with leaders of same levels. 
During the past time, authority sectors of all levels from the districts in Kinzhan province have actively mobilized organizations, individuals to contribute to help people in difficulties affected by pandemic COVID-19. Venerable Thich Phap Chi has offered the symbol sign for donating five tons of rice to the leaders of Vĩnh Thuận District representative of Ministry of Justice. Mr. Nguyễn Văn Vũ also handed over 50 million Vietnam Dong. Mr. Lê Trung Ho expressed his deep gratitude to all authority levels, departments and executive committee of provincial Vietnam Bodhisattva, the philanthropies and the sponsors for having helped the local people to overcome the difficulties during the social isolation and distancing period due to the pandemic COVID-19. Venerable singer, ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed up this quickly news rail. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on Piazzo TV channel. Namo Sakya Moni Pretern.